This shit ain't for kids, bro. What up, everyone? It's your boy xman 87 here, bringing you another G.I. Joe Classified Series video. And what I have for you today is the G.I. Joe Classified Series Scarlet Action Figure Review. Before I get into everything, if you could please drop a like rating on the video, it'll help show your support for my channel, and I greatly appreciate it. So I got this at a new local comic shop that opened up in Concord, North Carolina, called Sailfish Comics. About a half hour away from where I live in Charlotte. I've been trying to find these G.I. Joe figures in stores, but no luck. Big shout out to my man, The Articulator, for giving me the heads up. Check out his Instagram for some action figure photography. Link is in the description below. I appreciate you, brother. Now, with that said, let's take a close look at Scarlet. First, taking a look at her accessories. Here we have her power crossbow, and it's definitely on the high techy type of side. It's not her traditional looking XK1 power crossbow. But, you know, this fits in with how they look right now. And this looks pretty cool, I gotta say. And this actually comes apart, so you can lift the top part of the bow. And then from afar, this could pass as like some sort of blaster. But definitely looks like there's something missing on the top part. But you know, you can always use your imagination. And uh, it is easy to put back on. You just connect this at the beginning part here. And then this string part of the bow. You just clip that on like so and then it is fully attached and then it fits in her hand nicely just gotta loop that trigger finger in and then boom now she's ready to pop some baddies off next up we get this curvy like dagger and next up we get two long knives and they have a curvy handle to them and what's cool is that she has three sheath slots to store them so the first smaller dagger can fit right there at the front then on the back where her quiver is you get these two slots and they have the shape of the knife blade right here. So you're just going to match that shape up like so. And then you're just going to slide that in. And that goes in smoothly. Do the same on the other side and then you're good. <laughs> Nothing makes me happier than accessory storage. Now taking a close look at the head sculpt. I gotta say she came out pretty for the most part. Uh, only one gripe that I have is that she's smiling and I wish she had more of a meaner face just because I wanted them to capture that badassery tough attitude that Scarlet has and I don't feel like I get that with this. Anyway, she has very, very bright orangey hair, almost Becky Lynch style. And uh, with a couple of highlights too, you can see like there's this highlighted bang. If I turn my exposure down, you could probably get, yeah, see? Uh, it's a nice highlighted color and again the hair I like you know the ponytail I'm cool with it and this spiky part of the ponytail is the only other area that's highlighted along with the bang and the rest is that normal orangey reddish type of hair she's got the hair tie painted in black right there and the ponytail does not swivel but other than that I really like the hair sculpt a lot you got the blue earrings right there and uh, eyebrows painted in a dark orange type of color. I like the eye color. She came out cute. And she got the freckles as well. The lips came out fine too. I would have preferred a little bit of a darker lipstick color. But um, overall, still a good face sculpt in my opinion. Taking a look at the rest of the body, you can tell that they paid tribute to her classic colors of the blue and yellow. And uh, that is super important. And you got... Starting at the top, you got a collar right over here. That collar is painted in red. Underneath that, you get some black. Right here, you get a red pad over the shoulder with a little communicator, I guess. And then you get gold thrown in there. So as you can see, she's got like gold armored plate around her breast. Uh, the breast plate right there is a yellow. And you also get this sternum plate in a dark gray metallic color. And then you have her bandolier that has those sheath slots for her knives. And I don't like the way this is facing down. And especially on the back right here, the quiver, uh, the arrows are, uh, the end of the arrows are like pointed down here and I prefer them to be up. So I did switch it out and I'll show you that right now. The head is easy to pop off. And then from there, you can take this off 
and I like to put it this way so we'll just go around here so I prefer this look instead I can see the colors of the end of the arrow tips right there the only thing is that this knife is in the way so it's like if she's in combat it may obstruct her view but then again it's scarlet like she's one of the most dangerous lethal combatants in GI Joe so I don't think this will phase her. This girl could kick ass blindfolded if she has to. <laughs> also, I'm not a fan of that little blue thing, so this way uh, the bandolier can actually hide that. But yeah, I think this just looks so much better. And going back to the costume, to me it resembles that of a modern athlete, so you get some uh, almost carbon fiber looking like texture on some body parts. You know, you can see nice seams sculpted. You know, she's definitely well protected. I like the straps right there sculpted on the side of the breastplates. And then you get like an elbow pad right here. You get uh, forearm bands and you get a nice yellow and gold color with some blue as well. And the crossbow holding hand with the trigger finger that moves up and down. Then on the other side of the arm she has this big ass shoulder pad in red with the white star and I don't like the design choice right here it's sticking too far up uh, I would have preferred if this was more form fitted for her shoulder um, but yeah I don't know it just I feel like if she gets shot there it'll ricochet and hit one of her freaking teammates <laughs> I don't think that's pretty pretty safe but anyway on this side of the arm you get an elbow pad again and then you get the shurikens on her gauntlets which you know she had in her classic look so I'm happy that they added that there and then this is a regular uh, hinge on the hand that goes like that black gloves yellow and gold padding not to cover the rest of the body she has this utility belt with this strap and it is kinda loose so you're just gonna have to make adjustments every time you pose her she's got a gold belt buckle in the middle with two pouches next to it but you see this lower strap coming down and she has like three pouches right here and pretty impressive right here you can see that they sculpted the zipper handle and the zipper strip on each individual pouch so that's pretty cool you know I like uh, attention to detail like that so I appreciate that I like the gray paint right here they definitely added a lot of gold black and gray to her blue red and uh, yellow traditional colors also she has like a rubber overlay on the crotch piece so if you did want it to switch up the look a little bit you could cut this part off not sure how it would look underneath though so do that at your own risk maybe if you get an extra to customize uh, a more traditional look you know you can always do that then the rest of the legs you got the knee pads right here uh, you know armored look again gold and yellow and then you get these blue light blue streaks going down and you get a black strap right here behind the knee pad and you get more black as we look at the boots so you get that color combination of uh, you know gray yellow gold blue red she has all the color combos <laughs> you know right here on her boot um, the swivel she has uh, the, again the blue stuff on the side it looks like she has thrusters on her uh, on the back of her calf so kind of an interesting design choice they went right there and then you get this leather looking like texture on her Boot. Looking at the shoe, it's mainly in black, and then you get these sculpted armor bits colored in yellow at the tip of her toe right there, the back of the heel, on the top of her foot right there, and then you get the red soles right there with peggles at the bottom of the feet. Now I've read some comments of people criticizing the way the new Joes look, saying things like hashtag not my Joes, or it looks too Fortnite-ish, but to me, I'm not looking at it that way. I always see inspirations from other mediums. So for me, this is like uh, Devil's Do and the IDW Scarlet all fused into the classic Scarlet and coming out with this. So overall, I'm okay with that. Taking bits and pieces from there as inspiration and making up your own design. The G.I. Joe characters always went through a lot of different looks throughout the years from its classic days. Ninja Force, Venom vs. Valor, the Cobra Civil War, etc, etc. There's always going to be likes and dislikes to each their own, but for me, this is something fresh and seeing it in 6 inch form gives it its own identity, which looks good to me. Now for my favorite part, let's go over articulation. Her head moves that far up so she could look up pretty well and it moves that far down really good. 
it moves left to right and you know you got the pivot really good pivot and it rocks around so she also has a ball joint at the neck which can give uh, her some good extension as well with pivoting or forward and back type of movement now her left arm because of this big ass shoulder pad it only moves up that high but the other arm can get a good extension right there so uh, probably a little bit higher no that that's about it so definitely much better than this. this is the only thing that annoys me but she has butterfly joints man and that makes me extremely happy her arms move down all around and she has the elbow swivel and it bends in it doesn't bend in past the 90 degree mark unfortunately uh, you got a wrist swivel and a wrist hinge. She's got a double diaphragm joint, so she does swivel at the upper torso. It can pivot really good and rocks all around. Same here, bottom torso. You got the lower waist swivel, and it does pivot, and it rocks around. So you can definitely get a good crunch that far forward and you can get that much back movement now for the legs i'm so happy she has a drop down thigh selection this is so great especially for a female figure you know you don't get to see that a lot in female figures butterfly joints and double diaphragm joints and uh drop down thigh selection so this makes me extremely happy because before scarlet had any other specialized training she was a martial artist first and foremost so this made me capture that through photography. I felt like it was very important for me to capture her martial arts style. So this is really good to get those leg extensions for jumps, leaps, etc. Ah man, this is so good. And let's just lock that back into place. Her legs move that far apart. It moves that far up because you got that drop down thigh selection. You get really, really high kick, man. So good. And it moves that far back so she could get a full frontward split. Upper thigh rocks around. You got the thigh swivel. Double jointed knees and heel to the butt. Oh, almost. Well, let me extend this out. And then boom. Yeah. You get the heel to the scarlet butt pockets right there. So awesome. She's got calf swivel. Her ankles move that far up and that far down. She's got really good all-around ankle pivot. Now to jump into some fun comparisons next to other Hasbro female figures from different lines. Here we have Scarlet next to some fellow redheads. We have the Marvel Legends Black Widow and the Marvel Legends Jean Grey. Here she is next to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Lightning Collection Pink Ranger and Yellow Ranger. Here she is next to the Star Wars Black Series Gina Carano's Cara Dune and Ahsoka Tano. Then we have her next to some articulated icons feudal series figures we have the red basic ninja which i use for cobra red ninjas for my gi joe shots and we have her next to the deluxe white ninja that i use for a storm shadow custom here she is next to her boo fang snake eyes and we can add roadblock to the mix i like how they vary in sizes so far i still need to get destro duke and the regular release snake eyes to round out the wave all right and now to wrap things up my final rating is a 10 out of 10 total awesomeness despite some minor gripes i still find her to be the best six inch articulated female figure hasbro has put out by far from all their various lines i have given 10 out of 10 scores to some female marvel legends figures before with less articulation than this so it's only right i give it this score she has lots of range that made me enjoy photographing her even more so with all the poses i can get her into i do like the mix of colors we get on her costume with some nice sculpting to go along with it Wish we got a meaner looking alt head to capture her badass persona more, but hey, hopefully they'll give us some classic Joe figures in their classic outfits one day. The accessory options are good in my opinion. Four accessories in total with her power crossbow, dagger, and two other knives. No place to store her crossbow, but I'm happy they gave her storage for all of her knives. At the end of the day, she's a really fun figure, and I can't wait to see more G.I. Joe female figures with this kind of point of articulation system or better in the future. So now I kick it back to you guys. What do you guys think of this Scarlet figure? What other female characters would you like to see next in the line? For me, it would be Lady J, Zorana, and more importantly, Baroness. Which I noticed that Baroness has snake armor on the packaging artwork. It's like they are hinting at Serpentor with it. Is she working for Serpentor now instead of being loyal to Cobra Commander and Destro? I'm curious to find out. Let me know, comment below. That was my review. Please drop a like rating on the video. Comment, we'll chat about it. 
Please follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Link is in the description below. Check out my website, xmanny87.com, to view my photo gallery. Hit the notification bell so you always know when my videos are up. Share and subscribe if you're new. Enjoy the pics at the end of the video. See you on the next review. Peace, peace.